Now, if anyone's looking for this kind of plant in the future, uh, it grows amongst the sedges, but not where the sedges are rooted in the soil. Rather, in those places where you start getting a false lake bottom, and so you're, when you're walking around and the, the soil is starting, the, the ground is starting to um, become like, a, like you're walking around on a, on a waterbed, you're in the right kind of situation. Also, the sedges get a lot shorter, and so that's the kind of vegetation that you're looking for. Alright, so out there on the mat, uh, there are hummocks of sphagnum, kind of interesting. It looks like it might be a pH neutral, though, situation otherwise. And we found that there is lots of Drosera linearis, and it's in fruit. But what's totally cool is it's growing also with Drosera anglica. And even sweeter is that the Drosera anglica is all sterile. So this is not the hybrid, or this is not the species Drosera anglica. I think that this is a back cross. That is totally cool. I'm going to show you some video of this in a few, in a few moments. Here's a mix of, of uh, hybrids and Drosera linearis. That's Drosera linearis there. Look at the long leaves and the ripe fruit. So this is the hybrid. Uh, you can see the long spatulate uh, leaves. The fruit are entirely sterile. We haven't found any with uh, viable uh, seeds in them. Uh, and you can see, and you know, it really looks a lot like our uh, Drosera anglica from the Willow Lake area in California. Here's an example of the hybrid in which the leaves are really short. All these plants were sterile. Cool.